here, I want to show you something. My name is Natasha Tsakos and I am, are you ready? A showmaker. I wanted to tell my own stories. I was excited about the potential of theater, but not so much about its execution at the moment. I create things that do not exist yet. Meanwhile, in New World, I was um, performing in nightclubs and performing in the streets to support myself. When you're street performing or when you're interacting, you are sharing a, a, a magic moment. And so all these worlds sort of collapsed and, and coalesced naturally. I feel like I naturally trip. That is how I want to express the stories uh, and the journeys um, that I want to share. I had this epiphany and realized the words were the very problem because the words grounded us in the literal instead of lifting us up to another level. And that is what's interesting. So I stripped the words from the equation and I said, well, where do I go from, from there? So I started doodling, literally, my next story. And just, and the doodles took form and one doodle and next and the next and the next and the next. And then I suddenly had, suddenly I had an adventure. I, I had a journey, I had a story. Upwake tells the story of Zero, who is a modern day toon character going to work with his life in a suitcase, stuck between dream and reality, and not able to make out the two. And it's, it's definitely a commentary on uh, modern day life in a way. I wanted to make it dynamic and I wanted drawers to open and crazy things to come out and I wanted uh, Zero's co-workers to be headless, um, of course, um, because Zero, while he's always dreaming, is the only one who has his head on his shoulder. And then, and then making his way to a, a ginormous, almost like what, what, what is now a data room, right? Uh, of folders and files where all these headless men come out of. Boop. And then, of course, has to scan himself because we know we need to be more than one in order to do anything these days. We're living the, the literal life, all of us. The unliteral is so much more the abstract, right? It's so much more interesting. And, I, and that is sort of the realm in which I like to, to live in. The story always comes first. And then the technology needs to support that process. But then there's sort of a feedback loop because as we then start to go into production, technology will also inspire um, possibilities that I might not have thought of. Super intense. I'm not trying to do anything with the stage. I'm trying to do something to people. And, and that leads me to, to Human Ode, which is what I've been working on for for four and a half years, nearly. So I went to uh, a program called Singularity University based in NASA in Moffett Field, California. We are tasked to come up with an idea that will positively impact the lives of a billion people. How can we convert the emotions and energy generated during a show into tangible actions that have positive impact and then scale that? Humanoid tells the story of the last human brain kept captive in a surreal scientific traveling show led by a demented headmaster. And tonight, the brain escapes into people's phones as it tries to make sense of the world. We're going through this extraordinary ride, right, that highlights and raises awareness on some of the most important causes. And then at key moments, your phone is being triggered to do something about it if you wanted to. You'll actually get to donate, sign petitions. Definitely had to pivot uh, in the midst of the pandemic. It will be a live epic production when the time is right, but it can also be an interactive reality movie. I pushed the envelope by asking what now, what next, and what if? Expanding and accelerating, I am imagination.
Art Loft is brought to you by... Where there is freedom, there is expression. The Florida Keys and Key West. The City of Coral Gables and the Friends of South Florida PBS.